Hey, how's it going? Well, Brock's recent upload to The Breakfast Club was interesting. He was talking about some of the problems with the Democrat Party. He was saying there's a lot of elitism and a number of other problems, and I just wanted to make a response. He's suggesting that the Democrats think that you can't really trust the voter. And yes, there are some Democrats who have an elitist attitude. The idea that they're the educated ones. That they're the ones who really know the inner workings of the country. But this kind of problem occurs with both parties, just from different sides. There are a number of people on the right who think that the left aren't really the real Americans. That they're not real patriots. That they're not real Christians. That they're not to be trusted to make decisions for the real people. Well, the thing is, the people who are the real elitists aren't really associated with a particular party. They're the bankers. They're the military-industrial complex. They're the people who are so far removed from what everyday life is for most people in the United States, yet they make a lot of important decisions for them. When it comes to the Democrats, their real problem is that they can't really ever hardly come together on anything. It's like trying to herd cats. There's so much variance in belief and ideology. So much that they're pretty much fractured all the time. The only thing that they're able to come together lately on is that they all hate Trump. And that's not a very good way to come together on something. Hating on one politician is not a very fruitful thing. Not having a solid set of policies isn't very fruitful either. It's hard to get Democrats behind a Democratic candidate. And whenever there's a decent independent candidate thrown into the mix, it takes away from Democratic votes the most. It hurts the Democrats the most. On the other hand, it's easy to herd Republicans. They're more like herding sheep, sorry to say. They fall in line at the snap of a Republican leader's fingers. They don't bicker very much about the way that a Republican candidate or leader wants to implement things. They usually just go along with it. It's easy to get Republicans behind a Republican candidate. And they're the ones that are hurt the least by an independent candidate running. I mean, why vote for an independent when you can just come together on a Republican candidate that you all seem to mostly agree on? And even if you don't agree very much, you still stand behind them. So again, when it comes to the Democrats, their biggest problem, as far as I'm concerned, is that they can't really come together on hardly anything. I wish they'd focus on policy. It'd be nice. I wish they had a more solid policy when they do discuss policy. But I guess that's just a pipe dream, right? Anyway.